Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show where to get the assassin stagger, where to find the council chamber, and where to find the red prince. Also, you will need Nemo to uh, craft the assassin stagger. So first, when you're re-rolling, you wanna re-roll until you get the palace courtyard. The palace courtyard will start you right here in this place. So you just wanna follow the path. And we're going to the council chamber right now. When you get in this room, just make a laugh. It's pretty much the same um, direction as N Nemo's uh, location. So when you get up here, Shit. make a laugh. Find an opening, make another left. Also, when you're here, you're gonna see that uh, checkpoint again, which is down there. Just make sure you don't jump down there. It's gonna take you back to the beginning. Then you have to run through the whole thing again. So once you're down here, just keep following the path. And then you're going to come to, um, you're going to see a pile of bones with a person sitting on it. Which is right here. So once you talk to this guy, it might not look like you can talk to him at first. Or he's not doing anything, but once you talk to him, he's going to do an emote, which is like a little dance or something. After that, he's going to hand you a magic quill, which you would need to go through the glowing portals on the wall. And this is the magic quill that you will need that he will hand you. So as soon as he hands you that. The council chamber will be right here, but the um, this place, when you reroll, it can either be the council chamber or it can be another place. So once you enter through here, if it's not the council chamber, then you're gonna have to reroll until you get that. Okay, so once you're in the council chamber, you just wanna follow this path. Go left. Just want to keep running along this path. It's not that far. But there will be quite a few um, enemies you face.
and then It's a pretty long path, but it's not that long. Uh, so once you get up these stairs, this is the mirror that you're looking for to go to the parallel version of this. Okay, once you're here, we're just going to go back. Oh my god. Going to talk to the council again. Or not talk to the council, I meant. I'm gonna collect some tablets back there. Okay, so once you're in the council room, there's gonna be three tablets here. You wanna pick them all up. Then if you take a step back, if you look down, you'll see where the, the right position for all of them are. So the first one will be blue, second one will be red, and the last one will be purple. And once you did all that, the door up there will open. So there's going to be two items in this room. But mainly we are looking for the assassin's dagger. We have the assassin seal. And then once you go back here, just jump onto the back. And the assassin's dagger right here. So with the assassin's dagger, we head back to the council and the other the other version of this map. And you can inspect this dagger at the bottom of it it's going to show which one is the traitor now when you talk to the council you can kill that traitor or you can take that weapon to Nemu to craft the assassin's dagger so you can use Now that's just an easier way to get back. Um, if you leave the dungeon, then you can enter right back in the door that you came from and you'll be at the beginning here. So you can uh, just go straight to the council instead of running all through the map again. So once you get to the council, just gonna talk, talk, talk. 
you can choose to um, kill the traitor, which will use your assassin's dagger and you will get another weapon, which is the ornate blade. You'll get this, but if you don't kill the traitor, you'll still have the assassin's dagger. You can go to Nimu to craft the assassin's blade, which in that case, you can get both weapons because then you can come back here and kill the traitor after. But I think you might need to reroll, but I could be wrong. Okay, for Nemo's location, again, so we were down here where the bones is, so pretty much if you come out of the council chamber there, or whatever it is for you at that moment, you're just going to run back, and there is a point where you saw this elevator here. Mine is up right now because I don't know why it's up. I'd even go up there. Well, once you get here, just gonna go on it. But you're gonna have to want to jump off right on the second one, which is gonna be right here. Is that an enemy? Yeah. Okay. So once you get here, you know you're here once you get to the checkpoint. And just keep making your way down and Nemo should uh, be there. And here is Nemo. So once you talk to her, whenever I can actually like talk to her. How I feel so that you know is You're gonna see what you can craft and when you're in here I don't have it or um I already crafted the weapon so it's not here, but it's gonna be an option here for you to craft the assassin's dagger. So then you want to craft that and then you want to go to the red prince and that red prince will give you the red crown if you kill the red prince with the last hit of the assassin's dagger. You do not have to complete the whole fight with the assassin's dagger. It just has to be literally the last hit with the assassin's dagger and now to show the location of the uh, red prince okay so this is how to get to the red prince which is in the glided chambers but there's a possibility that it might not be in the glided chambers it can be the shattered gallery or I'm not sure of something else, but those are the two that I've been cycling through each time I rerolled. And I don't believe that you can get the glided chambers and the council chamber on the same row. So you would need to craft the assassin's dagger first, get that weapon, then you would need to reroll to get the glider chambers but this is how you get to the glider chambers so you're going to start at this mini checkpoint where you want to come back here and this is where you start it where you got out of off of the elevator of the palace courtyard so you just want to run into the library just go left
And once you get up here, you're not going to go left. You're going to go right this time. You're going to come to a pile of rubble. Can't pass. You're going to see an opening. Just want to jump on the bookshelf. Just continue the path, jumping on bookshelf. Then you see an open opening. Jump there. They're going to see another glowing door that you use the magic quill on. This will be the glided chambers or it will be something else. But if it's not the glided chambers, then you will have to reroll until you get it. But make sure that you have the assassin's dagger first, because once you kill the red prince with the assassin's dagger, you will get the red crown and it will have to be the very last hit on the red prince with the assassin's dagger. You do not have to kill. You do not have to kill the red prince the whole fight with the assassin's dagger it just has to be the very last hit so this is how you get to the glided chambers possibly if it's your first roll for you good but if not then you're gonna have the key re-rolling until you get it but as i said make sure you have that assassin's dagger crafted before you come here if you want the red crown prince the red prince's crown Okay, now that we're here at the glided chambers and you have your assassin's dagger crafted, this is where the red prince location is to get your red prince's crown and just to kill the red prince in general. So once you're here, just want to make sure you have your assassin's dagger equipped. So once you're here, just want to follow this path. So you're going to jump down or you can take the path down. Then you want to go left. It's going to be an elevator. Just want to take that up. Once you're in this room, if you want to do that, there is a hidden crack in the uh, wall right there that you can uh, fight a, a boss down there. You're just going to continue this way, though. Gonna come to an open library. Just wanna go right. Now you can take either way. You can go left or you can go right, but I find right to be the easiest as it would lead you in the same direction because you'll come up from there if you go the other way. Who are you? just want to continue straight once you come here you're gonna get in the middle you're gonna see an opening in the middle just want to take that and don't go through that one just go right once you come to this room with the fire the purple item you know you're almost there. Well, you're pretty much there. Ah, no room for that. So you're going to come to a checkpoint. Mini checkpoint. Once you get to this checkpoint, you know you're here. Just going to head up these stairs. And there's your red prince. So just keep in mind... You do not have to do the whole fight using the assassin's dagger. 
you just have to get the last hit with the assassin's dagger if you have a party that does not have the assassin's dagger and they kill the red prince with one of their weapons that isn't the assassin's dagger you will not get the red prince's crown so then you'll have to re-roll again and try to get the council chamber <laughs> I mean, not the council chamber, the glided chambers and um, run through this again until you get to the Red Prince again to try to get the Red Prince's crown. So just make sure you're the one or if not, if everybody has the assassin's dagger just to get the last and final blow on the Red Prince. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.